The concept that captured my imagination this week in studying Galatians chapter 5 and reading Laura's chapter and her, and her practices is that there are all kinds of conversations and arguments going on about freedom today. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of expression, uh, freedom to assemble, freedom to bear arms. I mean, the list goes on and on and on of the debates we're having today. And these are all very important discussions uh, for today. Um, yet, what Paul is talking about in Galatians 5 is the most essential freedom that is needed. What Paul talks about is the core essence of what it means to be transformed uh, because of Jesus. Um, in the person and power of Jesus. Uh, for becoming like Jesus as we live out our created and redeemed, recreated purpose in Jesus. Um, when we have this in line, at the core of our being, we will be truly free. Then we are freed up to love and to love well. So this is a mission, a calling from God that is possible in and through Jesus Christ and his spirit. One of the texts in the worship uh, from last week that was in the order of the liturgy was from Matthew chapter 9. When Jesus saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like a sheep without a shepherd. Can you today, can I, can we even see the crowds, the people that are harassed and helpless today? Um, it's one thing, and it's actually easy to see it on a computer screen or read a news story about it, perhaps. Um, but can we see it in our daily lives today? Are we close enough to be present with it, um, to be able to actually reach out or reach across whatever divide presents itself or need that is there? Or, here's the challenge. Have we become self-focused, self-absorbed over the last five months or so because um, just being born out of uh, isolation from one another, um, has it pulled us away from a mission possible that we're talking about today? Faith expressing itself through love? Could it perhaps be doing that? When I'm uh, out and about these days, um, the grocery store, walking, biking trails, pumping gas uh, at the restaurant, um, checking out the sale rack at REI or Plato's Closet, wherever it is, uh, there's a growing trend. Have you noticed it? People don't greet one another as frequently. There is much less eye contact as people tend to turn away uh, their uh, gaze towards uh, each other, or they look to the ground a lot. Um, and I want to ask the question, how can you, how can I be different? How can you, how can I demonstrate faith working itself out in love? Whether it's just a simple greeting of someone else, which really is simple, but we got to be more conscious of it today, it seems. Uh, to the more complex ways of loving another today that require some sacrifice from us, how can God use you and I, right, me, as light in the myriad ways of um, faith expressing itself in love? One thing I remember my mom teaching me is that when you're down or you're worried or you're anxious, uh, do something for someone else. It's probably the medicine that you need. Uh, we need to move from self-focused to other-focused. That really is the core of what's coming out today. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. So stand firm in this freedom and don't allow yourself to be burdened by a yoke of slavery again. So um, this week, Laura is going to encourage us to listen to the voice of God. Uh, to uh, in hearing his voice through listening uh, to then follow the Holy Spirit's lead. I guarantee you that this week opportunities will present themselves to you if we have the eyes to be able to see it. Um, 
she uses a common phrase I've heard in uh, Christian circles. Uh, look where God is at work in your life and in the lives of those around you and just simply join God in what he is doing. So be on the lookout this week. Have your eyes wide open. Would you pray with me? Uh, God, uh, your word is uh, amazing in that it speaks to the challenges uh, that we experience every day. It speaks directly to our heart. Thank you, God, for your amazing love that um, gives us the foundation and the source of power, um, the uh, Holy Spirit as a gift of guidance that we can look to you, uh, we can seek you, we can find you, and then, Lord, you just give us this amazing calling, this mission that is possible uh, to love our neighbor as ourselves. So, Lord, help us this week. Give us eyes to see. Give us um, the ability to take the eyes off ourselves and look to the needs of others. Amen.